My question was about, since today was our Ag Day, and our essay topic was about how America could lead um, in rehabilitating global food insecurity. Like, what was everybody's perspective on what America can do to kickstart that whole thing for the rest of the world and help with food insecurity? <laughs> this is selfish. <laughs> but they could invest in their veterinarians more. They could help pay us more. Because one of the things about veterinary uh, education is that it is very expensive. There's no true return on the salaries that we receive once we graduate. That's something to be very realistic of. And it surprises me that even for my friends who are veterinarians with uh, APHIS, uh, the Plant Health Inspection Services, the, the salaries that they get, you know. Um, I'm not saying that money equals you doing a great job. However, if you're going to attract and keep um, a certain level of employee or what you think would be appropriate to help protect our food, then you should really look into investing more into those needed, uh, those people playing vital roles in it. Yeah, I'll chime in too. I think um, what America, do is, America can do is really look at um, at waste, uh, agricultural waste, and how we can really repurpose that. Um, there are a lot of uh, fruit and vegetables that are thrown away because they're odd shaped and things like that. Uh, we were talking when I first came up about, I was like, you can make powder out of anything. <laughs> and it is true, you can make powder out of anything. So really looking at um, or flour, I should say, uh, flour. Um, but you can, really looking at how, you know, what are we wasting? How can we get that into the communities? Also local, encouraging those relationships between um, local farmers and, hate to say it, prisons, local farmers and schools. They have the farm to school programs um, from state to state. Um, but that, that, is, that is the answer, that is the future, it's really, localizing our consumption and also looking at what are we wasting and how can we repurpose that waste into other things to help with the food um, insecurity. Um, also, uh, when getting involved with, I'd love to see more agriculturalists representing on city commissions and, and zoning, getting involved with zoning and, and understanding um, you know, that we need to preserve our agricultural spaces and we need to hold off on some of this development that's happening. That's also part of the answer. If we, you know, we go to urban neighborhoods, black neighborhoods, um, you know, uh, lower economic neighborhoods, they're not always the same, by the way, black neighborhoods are not always the low economic neighborhoods. Um, but in those groups, we go to those neighborhoods and again, people are eating from their convenience stores and things like that. They're not having the Whole Foods markets there. So really changing the dynamic and, and being a decision maker and an influencer as far as what municipalities do when they're making their rules, when they're determining their zoning, how do they approach it and how do they make sure that um, all of their citizens get the benefit of healthy options um, for consumption. A lot of it comes, in, comes down to planning, um, running for state rep offices, running for commissioner of agriculture. That's what I see here. You guys will be future you know, state reps, state senators, congressional leaders, um, commissioners of agriculture, uh, local city commissioners, mayors of your city. When we start getting agriculturals to do those things, and of course a lot of those things are you know, you'll do in addition to your day job of actually being a farmer or um, uh, being an agroeconomist, whatever you're choosing to do, you need to be an influencer. You need to be a decision maker. I want you to know that I just graduated law school in 2015. I just passed the bar in 2016. And I've had all of those roles since then. So there's, you guys are young. You guys need to be the decision makers and that's how you assist with this food insecurity issue and the disparities in allocation of resources that we spoke about.